Walking should not be a life or death activity. Yet in the United States, walking is increasingly dangerous. In 2019, pedestrians accounted for 17% of all traffic deaths compared with 11% in 2009. That's a 55% increase. Many factors have combined to put pedestrians at historic levels of risk. Increases in speeding, distracted and impaired driving, and the shift in vehicle sales from passenger cars to light trucks and SUVs are all factors. Current data also shows that most of the deaths are occurring on our busiest suburban and urban roads. They usually happen away from the intersection and most occur at night. In fact, three out of every four pedestrian fatalities occur in the dark. What can we, as transportation professionals, do to make pedestrian travel safer? The short answer is a lot. For example, simply adding sidewalks can reduce pedestrian-involved crashes by 88%. For more solutions, we can look to the Federal Highway Administration, or FHWA, for guidance and potential solutions in their STEP, Safe Transportation for Every Pedestrian initiative, and the safety countermeasures they call the Spectacular 7. For example, raised crosswalks. Spanning the width of the roadway, Raised crosswalks are ramped speed tables that elevate the pedestrian crossing by three to six inches. Typically, raised crosswalks are used at mid-block locations. These crosswalks can slow traffic and allow the pedestrian to cross at grade with the sidewalk, making the pedestrian more visible to drivers. Raised crosswalks can result in 45% reduction in pedestrian crashes. Leading pedestrian intervals. Leading pedestrian intervals are adjustments to signal timing that allow pedestrians to walk usually three to seven seconds before vehicles get a green signal. The LPI increases visibility, reduces conflicts, and improves yielding. In fact, providing a leading pedestrian interval can reduce pedestrian crashes by 13%. Pedestrian Refuge Island pedestrian refuge islands provide pedestrians a safer place to stop at the midpoint of the roadway. This allows pedestrians to focus on crossing one direction of traffic at a time. This is particularly helpful on roads with four or more lanes and for pedestrians with limited mobility. Pedestrian refuge islands can reduce pedestrian crashes by 32%. Road diet. Road diets reallocate the use of the existing pavement Typically, an existing four-lane undivided roadway is reconfigured into one through lane in each direction, a two-way left turn lane, and bicycle lanes. Road diets reduce vehicle speeds and the number of lanes that pedestrians cross. Road diets can also create space to add new pedestrian facilities, such as a pedestrian refuge island. In the new configuration, the bicycle lanes serve as a buffer between the sidewalk and vehicular traffic. Road diets have been found to decrease pedestrian crashes by 19% in urban settings and 47% in suburban areas. Rectangular Rapid Flashing Beacons Rectangular rapid flashing beacons include two rectangular shaped yellow beacons that use an irregular flash pattern alerting drivers of the presence of pedestrians. RRFBs are usually used at mid-block uncontrolled crossing locations. They are often used with crosswalk visibility enhancements and pedestrian refuge islands. RRFBs significantly increase driver yielding behavior and can reduce pedestrian crashes on average by 47%. Pedestrian Hybrid Beacon Pedestrian hybrid beacons include two red lenses above a single yellow lens. The PHB rests in the dark phase until actuated by a pedestrian. When active, the pedestrian hybrid beacon's red signal indication removes any judgment from the motorist and requires a complete stop. The PHB provides a clear message that motorists must stop and allow pedestrians to cross the street. Used for higher speed, multi-lane roadways with higher vehicular volumes, the PHB is an intermediate option between a flashing beacon and a full pedestrian signal. PHBs can reduce pedestrian crashes by 55%. 
Crosswalk Visibility Enhancements. Crosswalk Visibility Enhancements is a grouping of countermeasures that includes crosswalk lighting, enhanced signage and markings, and geometric design elements that help drivers detect pedestrians, particularly at night. High visibility markings, restricted parking on the crosswalk approaches, advanced signage, curb extensions, and improved nighttime lighting are all tools in the Crosswalk Visibility Enhancements Toolbox. Using these tools can reduce crosswalk pedestrian crashes from 23 to 48%. As you can see, many tools are available to transportation professionals and road owning agencies to improve the safety of pedestrians. Something as simple as adding a sidewalk, especially where the need is evident, can dramatically reduce the risk assumed by pedestrians using the right of way. For more complex or site specific concerns, FHWA's STEP initiative provides additional guidance. To learn more, visit FHWA's STEP website or contact ATAP.